This tutorial covers how to update a contributed module by using the administrative interface and running the database update script. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to update a contributed module and run the database update scripts. Before doing this, you should make sure that you have a contributed module that's been installed and there's an update available for it. You have a development version of your site that you can test this on first, that you've created a full site backup before proceeding on the live site. Finally, the core update manager module must be installed in order to run the database update script in the browser. Note that if you're using Composer to manage your site's dependencies, you'll want to follow the tutorial on using Composer to update the code, and then come back here for instructions on running the database update script. Before you start, you'll want to check for any module-specific update instructions. This is typically necessary while updating modules that involve the usage of third-party libraries, but it's also always a good idea to read and understand all module-specific requirements before proceeding with an update. To find the instructions, check the module's project page. So for the Google Analytics module, I can check the project page. I might read the existing documentation. One good place to look is by clicking on the release, which you're going to update to, which will take you to the project's release notes. Here you can browse through the release notes and see if there are any special instructions about updating. Finally, you can also download the files that you're going to be using during the update and look for an update.txt, a readme.txt, or an install.txt file in that code that might contain additional instructions. If you're not using Composer to manage your site's dependencies, then the modules can be updated using the administrative interface. If you're updating a custom module rather than a contributed module, or if you see a message saying installing modules and themes requires FTP access to your server, or if the following steps do not work for some reason to obtain the new module files, follow the steps in the manual installation tutorial, then continue here with the step for running database updates. To use the administrative interface to update a contributed module, first put your site into maintenance mode. Click on configuration. Then under development, click on maintenance mode and check the box, put your site into maintenance mode and click save configuration. Once your site is in maintenance mode, in the manage administrative menu, navigate to reports and then available updates and then update. This page shows you a list of all the modules that need updates. Find and check the box for each module you want to update in the list. Then click download these updates. On the next screen, click continue. Once that's complete, you'll need to run the database update script. If you obtain the new module files manually or use Composer to download, start with this step and reach the database updates page by typing in slash update.php in your browser. Click on run database updates. From the updates page, click continue. If there are any updates to be run, you'll have the opportunity to review them and then execute them at this time. If there aren't any, you'll be taken to the final step, which is this page. From here, you can return to the administrative section of your site by clicking on Administration Pages. After that's complete, you can put your site back into online mode or take it out of maintenance mode by unchecking Put Site into Maintenance Mode and clicking Save Configuration. Finally, it's a good idea to clear the cache after performing updates, just for good measure. In this tutorial, we learned how to update a contributed module using the user interface provided by the core update manager module and how to run the database update script.